This week, Rhea and I are joining Bud and Celeste Brunning of UTV Utah on another one of the 50 trails in 50 weeks as we adventure to the Arapine Trail from Ferris. Ben, Reese, and Marianne are showing off another great area, and this time it's filled with hiking and biking trails in Big Cottonwood Canyon. Finally, everything comes at a cost, and this week we'll see what someone has to give up to spend all their time out on the water. It's all headed your way right now. At Your Leisure is next. A new road to discover. The best part is, when you've never been there before, you don't know what you'll find when you get to the top. Hi everybody, welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth, and we are with Bud and Celeste Bruning from UTV Utah. And if you have a side-by-side -side or anything along those lines, you know these people, because they rock. <laughs> <laughs> they do, look, they're blushing. Uh, we, we are, we are, we, we love this stuff. You guys know that. Yeah, we, we, we run it. into them a lot, and we've, yep. we've discovered that if you ever need to generate a posse to ride with, just call them. Exactly. And one will appear. Anytime, anywhere. Anytime. Just let us know and we'll, we'll be there. Yeah, on a, on, a, on a whim, we said, let's go down and explore some stuff out of uh, Big Mountain Lodge in Farron, which we're doing today. And is said, well, we need a few people to ride with us. No problem. <laughs> yeah, we Call got Bud. Like, we got like 18 machines here. It's, it's awesome. You got to get up on this mountain. Let's show them what it's all about. I love the mountain riding with the trees, the narrow you go through, and then the water crossings as well. I've seen some lakes, um, trail riding. It's been pretty mild for the most part, not anything crazy aggressive, but um, lots of smaller river crossings or stream crossings. Some nice meadows out in the middle of nowhere. I like the sky and the clouds and the green trees, and then you come through the woods and you know, you just, it all opens up and you see all that beauty. It's just beautiful. It's just so peaceful. You just can't get this in the city. We've really uh, enjoyed the ride. Uh, Love to see the country and there's some pretty good fishing up here. Uh, <laughs> we saw a nice one jump out there where you guys were fishing, but. Uh, just majestic when we're up there and you just look down where you've been on the trail, you just watch it come up and everything's below you. It's just like being up at the top of the earth, top of the world. And everything is so different. Every direction you go is so different. And the Arapine Trail's been one of our absolute favorites. We found that we can stay on the trails and be careful, or we can get on those more difficult ones and really have fun. Well, everybody has their favorite on this trail, and it is spectacular, but I have to say my favorite is right here on the top of Skyline Drive. We are literally over 10,000 feet high, and we can see the world, and That's it's gorgeous. in between breaths. <laughs> yes. No, it's great up here. It's, the air is clear and lovely. That's true. We are above all the fire smoke that's been plaguing the west this summer and fall, and below us you can see Duck Fork Lake. And this ridge of mountains is dotted with all kinds of lakes. So that's why Brad Benson, our, uh, our guide here. And, and his uh, adorable wife, and Julie. His, yeah, who uh, run the lodge, yeah. the uh, Big Mountain Lodge. Uh, they like to come up here. And in fact, we are looking out over Big Mountain. And that's what they named their lodge after, because this is the, the cool part here. And it's literally moments away from the lodge. It's there, awesome. Yeah. There you go. Right now, you're just moments away from this week's Where to Adventure. As its name implies, the Wasatch Crest Trail runs along the ridge between the Salt Lake Canyons and the Park City area. The connector trailhead is off a switchback below Gardman Pass. Here an old Jeep road climbs most of a mile to Scott's Pass, where we met Californians Peter and Emily Martin celebrating their 20th wedding anniversary with this hike. 
good way to spend your anniversary. Absolutely. From Scott's Pass, we get our only uphill. It's about a quarter mile long and only a couple of hundred feet, but the bikers have a name for it, Puke Hill. Puke Hill is only about half a mile of uphill, but with a 350 foot climb, it takes forever to reach the communication towers visible from Brighton and the canyon below. The trail is lined with wildflowers, sticky geranium, Indian paintbrush in orange, red, and pink, wild flax, huge fields of yellow daisies and wild rose. We roll along just below 10,000 feet, alternating between wide open tundra and groves of aspen and pine with spectacular views of the granite peaks of Little Cottonwood across the way. And it makes you feel like you've really accomplished something because you're walking on the backbone of the mountains and you can see down on both sides. A morning jogger catches us at the Forest Service boundary, reminding visitors of restrictions in the canyon watershed. Six miles in, Desolation Lake emerges in the glacial cirque below the trail. A great view into Big Cottonwood Canyon, it's the halfway point of our trek. Like many cyclists, Doug Cotter likes the smooth, undulating trail he can access from Park City, Big Cottonwood, or even on odd-numbered days, Mill Creek Canyon. It's perfect for bikers. I used to ride up from town, but now I get a shuttle. But uh, it's a wonderful ride along the crest, not too rigorous. Above the lake, the roughest part of the trail, a gnarly downhill called the Spine, a sharp fin left when two glaciers ate away at both sides of the ridge, a real challenge for mountain bikers, and one of the main reasons I carry hiking poles. Safely down the Spine, we have a choice. From here, you've got a couple of options. You can continue down into Big Cottonwood Canyon and Mill D Fork, or branch off and go up over Dog Lake and into Mill Creek, or do like we're going to do, continue on the Wasatch Crest Trail to Mill Creek. And no sooner do we start up the hill than Bullwinkle appears and interrupts his breakfast to note our passing. We've seen moose more often than not on this hike, including this pair of youngsters and this not-so-young bull. Six miles and two ibuprofen to go, and more color marks the crossing into Mill Creek Canyon. Mid-July to late August is prime wildflower season at these high elevations. And with all the aspens, September hikes can be equally beautiful. Horses are allowed in Mill Creek, but not in the Cottonwood Canyons because they are watershed. Dogs are also allowed in Mill Creek, off-leash on odd-numbered days. Just beautiful. Uh but we come here because we can bring the dogs up here too. We continue down Mill Creek to the upper Big Water parking lot where we've left that second car. Shore Beat's turning around and heading back to Big Cottonwood. I think it ranks among the top five mountain hikes for people like me. Takes us a foot sore six hours to do the 11 miles. Reese Stein with Mary Ann at your leisure with this week's Where To Adventure on the Wasatch Crest Trail. Hey, welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. I'm Scott the Huntsman at Two Next. This is what's new this week. Nothing I love more than to have my Jeep out with the top off and the doors off. I mean, who doesn't? It's summertime, right? But I do have a problem. I've got a lot of recovery equipment and tools that I keep in the back, and I want to secure those because I just don't want somebody grabbing them and taking them while I've got this thing parked. I'm going to review today a product from Diabolical. Right here in West Jordan, Utah, it's a U.S. made security system. Let's go inside, let's check it out and see what this is about. Hey guys, I'm here with Brandon Scott. He's with Diabolical and he's going to give me a hand putting this in today. But Brandon, why don't you tell us a little bit about this product, a little bit about the company if you would. Sure. Um, so this is an all steel system, um, minus the aluminum wing skins here, cool. um, which means it won't rust Nice. Um, once it's on top. Um, the company Diabolical Inc. was founded by um, Alan, who's like the owner, and he's a uh, Utah native. Everything is here, made here in Utah. Nice. Um, and, you know, it's it's a great system. It's it's for security for the Jeep so that you don't have things stolen. Hey, it looks really good. I say, let's get started putting this on. He's going to give me a hand, and that's a good thing. <laughs> OK, 
Okay guys, we're progressing along here. We've got the side frame, the vertical frames installed. They just simply bolt on to the studs behind the seat. The back of the side frame goes to the multi-bend bracket, which goes behind the subwoofer. Really, really nice, good quality. The cuts are perfect. Everything's just lining right up. We're moving along. Okay guys, I'm installing this accessory rail that goes over the side rail and the skin plates that enclose the whole thing to the body of the Jeep. Now you can start to see how this works. This thing is awesome. We're gonna leave everything slightly loose so that when the whole structure is together, we can align it perfectly so all everything will just line up beautifully. We tighten, do all our final torque then. Coming right along. All right, guys, hey, project complete. I couldn't be happier with the fit and the finish of this product and its function of being a secure product to take care of all of my stuff. When the gate is closed, this is secured. Here's one really cool part of it. This part of the seat. I fold down the small end of the dual back seat. This lockable access point lets me get small items in and out. I like that. And pull two pins, this folds forward. Pull two more pins, this whole thing comes out. So I can open up the whole back of the Jeep in a matter of moments. I really like that feature because it gives us a lot of flexibility. Now, if you want to check out more information on this product, check out diabolicalinc.com. Check out the videos they have on their website. You're gonna love them and get into good detail with this. We also install and sell these here at Two Next South Jordan and West Valley. I'm Scott Huntsman, more at your leisure in a moment. You know, if you really sit and think about it, there are a million ways to enjoy the Arapeen Trail System. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are in the mountains uh, on the Arapeen with a base camp of the Big Mountain Lodge down in Farron. And boy, what a fun place. It really is. It's beautiful. The rooms are wonderful. The food is incredible. And the people are just top notch. And they will, you can rent machines and come up here. And you can also get a guide to come up here and bring you up here. Mm -hmm. And it's just, um, it sure beats Salt Lake City, I can tell you that. You know, <laughs> you can pick the trail, you can pick your way up here, whatever skill level you want to ride, and uh, you can come up here and enjoy the wildflowers. And mm -hmm. there's so much color, I can't believe it this late in the season. It is, it's phenomenal. And now this fall coming on, you got to get yourselves up here. You know, but if your bag is some other things, Farron's got a lot to offer. There's so much to do in Farron. There's so many trails up on the mountain like we're at today. Just 10 minutes, a side-by-side -side ride right from the lodge. There's tons of trails. There's about six decent-sized lakes that you can go fishing. You can go camping up here in the mountains. 10 minutes on the other side of the lodge is the desert, the heart of the San Rafael Swell. In addition to the UTVing, there's a really nice golf course up at the Millsite Golf Course. Well, when you come to Big Mountain Lodge, you'll find that we have um, gas for all your needs, gas and diesel fuel. We even have ethanol free gas as well. Um, we have a full restaurant here on site. Uh, we have rooms and cabins. We have uh, eight original cabins that were here and then nine original rooms. Uh, and then we just built six more brand new cabins. Uh, we also have a convenience store. On a normal water year, uh, if, if you're tired of riding in the dusty trails, you can come and get a jet ski or a boat or a paddle board or a kayak and go up to one of the local reservoirs, go swimming, um, go fishing, uh, anything like that. This mountain right here behind us is called Big Mountain and it's the mountain range right outside of Farron and we decided to name the lodge after that. It had sat vacant for a couple years before we had purchased it. So the last couple years, we've been remodeling all the hotel rooms, getting new furniture, remodeling the store. We've added a restaurant and a coffee shop on site and a new hotel lobby. We started the rental program. We rent out four wheelers, UTVs, uh, ski boats, jet skis. For the horseback rides, they go to 37's Ranch org dot seven 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 ranch dot org and then uh, to look us up here at Big Mountain Lodge is Big Mountain Lodge Utah dot com or they can give us a call at 435-384-3333. And of course there is always fishing 
and you can rent a side by side or an ATV and be up here in just a couple of minutes, which is is pretty cool. This is really really neat. I mean, we just passed a bunch of venues on the way up. Brad's back here fishing. Did you catch anything yet? Not yet. Only been here a few minutes, but we're gonna keep trying. <laughs> I'm an impatient uh, fisherman. I am too. So I uh, I would be having to use a lure, something that keeps me me moving. I can't do the bait fishing. <laughs> I get it. Anyway. With all the things there are to do up here, uh, you know, it really makes a great place for a vacation and not just a day. We are going to actually show you more of that. We are not done yet, but right now it's time for us to explore the along the way. Boating can be an exciting pastime and hobby, but for some, it has become a way of life. These fine folks here in Portland, Oregon have taken it upon themselves to give up the amenities of dry land and quite literally live aboard a maritime vessel. Boats become part of your life. You know, you might even start off, you know, getting a boat and spending a few nights a week on it. And if, as you realize, you know, how much work, you know, having a life on land is, and then how much work a boat is, even though it seems smaller and should be easier to, keep track of, you know, doing both, you know, now sudden that becomes a lot. This is, this is where you do your reprieves when you're, uh, when you're uh, living aboard, you know, because you're not moving your home around so much, because it's hard once you get the place all loaded down for living aboard, so, but you got to get out on the water, so you, you got to have, you have to have an inflatable. Sort of in an you know improvement based you know lifestyle on this boat right now. In another year, it, you know that I won't have that burden, and yeah, life will become super simple. And it's actually, yeah, as you can see already, I live a pretty simple life. You know, it's 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 limited in scope, but I still amaze myself every day at how I can lose things on this boat and lose them very thoroughly. You know, and then, you know, and then I'm just like the guy in a 5,000 square foot house trying to figure out where he sat down his keys. For some, they can't quite make the full commitment to life on a boat, but they're still attracted to life on the water. Very lucky in the sense my, my wife lives no more than 300 yards from where I am. So it's like my man cave being here. And, and I just come down and whenever I want to. Or even when the weather is not very good, I, I stay, stay in, in her apartment. Uh, and that way I'm very, very fortunate and blessed to be having the best of both worlds. Uh, so it's, it, it, it's really good. Yeah, I, I, have it, I have it very, very good. Or there are those who want the best of both worlds. So they buy a home that floats. We, we very much enjoy it. We very much enjoy being able to take the boat out, you know, right after work and go boating. I mean, that's kind of the kind of reason you live on the waters to kayak or fish or boat or whatever your passion is, to be right there and being able to do it and squeeze it in any day of the week. For At Your Leisure and this week's Along the Way, I'm Nick Chase. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. Well, you know, Celeste and Bud, they always have the coolest machines and the coolest stuff, because you do. <laughs> we try. <laughs> really, and it is cool. And I noticed you had something really neat today on the trail. What, what is this thing? Yeah, so uh, this is probably one of my favorite gadgets that we use on the trail. It is the Easy Cool. It is made by Bryce Kendrick with Keep Smiling Power Sports. Um, it's, it's really easy to use. Um, you just kind of latch it in your door here. So. This, uh, this piece goes on your door latch right. and it lines up with your door and just 
and that latch keeps, is closed. It keeps the air cool. Yeah, it does. It just lets just enough air blow through the cab that it keeps you cool and, and then you're not dying the whole time. See, that is so clever. And you know, it's also like we used it and there wasn't like dust coming in. No. I thought it was really well manufactured. Yeah, I, yeah there wasn't a ton. Of, there's not a ton of dust. Um, it, you do get a little, but yeah. I mean, I don't feel like it's more than, oh, no, than no. normal. So. Yeah, it's not like your face is down there. Right, exactly. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to take a look at next week's show, so don't go away. Next week, Rhea and I are showing off another great trail, and this time we're joining folks from Uinta County and Beers Power Sports as we venture off to the Red Mountain Trail. Then Nick Chase is taking us out for a great family camping adventure to a lush canyon reservoir where everyone is sure to have fun in the water. Finally, Scott Huntsman joins the Utah Vision Rally, which is a great motorcycle ride up the Wasatch Back that supports an amazing cause. Now. A calendar of events reminder for you. It's been 20 years and on this 9-11, Red, White and Road roars back into existence with our annual Stedman's Ride out of Torrey, Utah. Space is limited, so be sure to sign up and register on our website. Now, contest winner, Rhea. This week's contest winner was submitted to us on Facebook by Kate Kreiss. Congratulations, Kate. It looks like you're the lucky winner of a new Clearly Tough windshield for your rig. Clearly Tough offers the strongest windshields on the market, and it looks like you're going to be winning a bonus $100 gas and gift card from the folks at Eagles Landing. Be sure to call us on Monday at 801-947-8888 and claim your prize. Well, next week's show looks great. Unfortunately, it is not the greatest thing with us tonight. It takes second place. It's this fabulous meal. Oh, yeah. Look at that brisket, the beans, Yum. everything. In fact, it's so good. I see Celeste has already been sneaking bites. Yep. I have. I've had a few bites of this uh, potato salad. It's their twice baked potato potato salad. Oh. It's uh, loaded with sour cream and cheese and bacon and mm. everything. Everything's better with bacon, huh, bud? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> like I was saying earlier, that this is why I come. The, the ride is amazing, but if you stay and eat at the, the Big Mountain Lodge, their food is delicious. Yeah, they've got it all. They really do. It is, and we've had great company today. Yes. You know, all, all of you guys who went riding with us from UTV Utah and the local club down here, give yourselves a hand. I really appreciate it. Thank it's you been welcome. a fun ride with you guys today. Yes, it was so fun. And we want to do a special thanks to uh, Brad and Julie, the Bensons, for uh, putting us up here and uh, getting Big this Mountain ride Lodge. at the Big Mountain Lodge. This is a place you need to come yeah. and check out because you are really deprived because you're not here eating right now. <laughs> and just remember, we say it every week, there is adventure around every bend. You just got to get out there and create your own adventure. At, At your, your leisure. leisure.